but you're probably seeing more rain. Chief Meteorologist Kevin Robinson has an update. Yeah, it's looking particularly wet, especially the first half of tonight. I don't think the rain you're seeing now will be falling throughout the duration of the night, but over the next few hours, let's say between now and about nine o'clock or so, it looks fairly wet here early this evening. So check on radar right now. We're actually starting to see a few rumbles of thunder or see a little bit of lightning indi indicative of a few rumbles of thunder out there just outside the 275 loop. Some pockets of heavier rain moving out of parts of Campbell now in the Claremont counties, maybe nicking probably the southeastern corner there of Hamilton County out towards parts of Anderson Township. But for right now, within the 275 loop, the majority of the rain is light to moderate. Occasionally, there's a heavier pocket up here near Sharonville, just north of Cross County Highway, for example, up near Ronald Reagan, Sharonville to Blue Ash, some pockets of moderate rain. Then you get out towards Newtown and Mount Washington, it gets a little heavier. And as you slide on into Claremont County, you can see from outside 275 from near Coney Island in California out towards Amelia and Batavia, some pockets of heavier rain. Now, obviously nothing severe, but obviously heavier rainfall. And there you can see there are a couple of lightning bolts too. So don't be surprised if you're up here in Batavia, Owensville, for example, in time, probably even Milford and Mount Ripos. Certainly the possibility of getting of here hearing at least maybe a few rumbles of thunder. Now as you slide south into northern Kentucky through parts of Grant you know, all over towards Carroll and Gallatin counties, some steady rain out there around the VV area down on 71 and then to the north of downtown, the north side of the Ohio River through parts of Warren Butler, Franklin counties, you got some steady soaking rains also moving on up towards Liberty and Connorsville. No thunder or lightning indicated at this point in any of this. So enough to certainly impact your Monday evening commute and make for a wet first part of the night. But here's a look at the big picture on the radar. Here's kind of this steady plume of rain. Notice it does dry out as you get back into parts of Indiana. So the back edge of the steady rain is upon us, and that's why I say I think after mid evening it gets a little drier for a lot of us. So outside now pretty gray and gloomy with the steady rain 73 at the airport so far since midnight. We've already picked up almost a half an inch of rainfall. Temperatures haven't budged much today with clouds to start rain pretty much all day. We've been hovering really just kind of fluctuating between 70 and 75 all afternoon, and that's where we are now. Loveland 75, 73, Wyoming, Hyde Park, Dale High coming in at 72. Temperatures won't budge much tonight due to the clouds and the mild south breezes, so we'll hover around 70 again with probably steady rain through eight or nine for some of us, and then it kind of tapers off to more or less hit and miss scattered showers overnight tonight. Here's future cast still a lot to get through here overnight. Notice the rain fades aside from a few scattered showers while we sleep towards morning tomorrow. The rain basically builds back in and that's why I think your morning commute is looking wet around the tri state and then it looks like that rain fades early afternoon tomorrow and I think we actually get into a few hours tomorrow afternoon through the early evening where it's relatively dry. That is until the cold front approaches around midnight and once the cold front approaches, the rain picks back up and your Wednesday morning looks like a soaker with falling temperatures. Fall arrives on Wednesday and it will feel like it. 67 for a low tonight. Tomorrow, 79 for an afternoon high. Again, wet early, drier during the afternoon. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. And as I alluded to, fall arrives in here on Wednesday. And boy, will it feel like it. That's 70 on Wednesday is at midnight. During the afternoon, we'll likely be in the 50s with a wind. It will be chilly and wet. And then there you go, some cool nights coming up Wednesday night and again on Thursday night. All right, fall is definitely here.